Hello guys, it's Janelle here, day eight of my 30-day Facebook Live challenge. So today I wanted to talk to you about DMO, Daily Method of Operation. And I really didn't know about this a little while ago and now it's been popping up everywhere. So I think I need to start doing them. Um, I heard it today on a podcast. I heard it the other day on a webinar. I was at a meeting the other day and they were talking about daily method of operation and, you know, how it can really help you in your day. So it can give you a daily schedule of specific tasks to help you grow and succeed. Um, it can make you feel less overwhelmed, less flustered and frustrated um, and it can give you that more organized feel, which, you know, if you've got those step-by-step -step processes to do every single day, then you're going to be making tracks and moving forward, you know, because, um, you know, you're not just trying to think of what you're doing in your day and just plodding along, you know, at, at, at a slow pace. This is um, something where you've written down every single day what you're going to be doing. So whether that's five days a week, six days a week, seven days a week, but you have it planned out and it can really help your progress and your production within the day. So I know this is something that I definitely need to do because for me with two kids at home, I sort of just flutter about here and there and I feel like I'm overwhelmed sometimes. I feel like I'm not getting enough done or I feel like, uh, you know, like I'm not doing the right things that I should be doing. So if I have it planned out in a DMO, it's going to help me in my business. And this can be for anyone in any business, bricks and mortar, anyone that works from home, anyone that has any sort of, it could even be for like a stay at home mum that has, you know, she, she has a lot of kids at home and, uh, and wants sort of a daily plan for herself to work around the kids. So I find that this is going to be great for everyone and I can duplicate this through my business partners and I can let other people know and I'm a bit of a planner. So for me, this is exciting. <laughs> for you guys, it might be completely the opposite, but I definitely know for me that this is something that I can start to plan and do. And what they say is it's a consistent daily action that you've written down and planned and then you follow it each day. Um, and then find two really strong traits that you have based around those daily actions. So, you know, whatever kind of business you're in, find the strongest points that you have and work around that. And then everything else, you know, if, if you're not really good at something, there's no use doing 10 things in the day and you're only a quarter successful with all of them. Find things that you're really strong with and that you're really good at and use those things first. And then as you get really confident with those and you're using less time to do those product productive things, then you can move forward and find something else to learn and put that into your DMO as well. So I absolutely love that idea and I love that it's, it's becoming very popular. And apparently there's... Um, a, well, actually, I've just started it myself. There's a website called Trello and it's also an app on your phone. And from what I've heard, a lot of people are using it for their DMO. It's easy to use. It's easy to join. Um, and, you know, you can write down those step-by-step -step process processes for yourself and the times that you want to do them. And then, you know, you know where you're failing in your day then. You know, you know when you're where your strong points are, you know what you need to work on, you know what your um, what your next step is going to be. I know my day, my day can be all muffled up because of kids anyway, but if I've got, you know, if I have to go away and do something with the kids and then come back to my DMO, I know what it, where I was at and what I was meant to be doing next and I can put my focus back into my business and my daily routine rather than just fluffing about on the computer like, like I do most of the time. So... For me, this is going to be amazing and I really hope you guys look into DMO's daily method of operation and maybe use it for yourself or whatever, work activities, um, exercise activities, you know, you can fit so much into a DMO and it's it doesn't just have to be about work. So in mine, I've actually got, you know, what days I want to exercise and then I 
base the rest of my day around that. And then obviously I've got things like our swimming lessons and dance lessons and all that sort of stuff. So they, they are in my DMO as well. And so then I have to move some of my schedule for my business stuff around that as well on those days. And on the next days I can catch up and do a little bit more. So yeah, this is probably a no brainer for most people. A lot of you might have heard this or use this already, but for me it's new and it's something I really want to get into. Um, what else did I want to say about it? So, and they, they also say, work out how many hours a day you can put into your business. So don't just, you know, be out there and say, I'll do 10 hours today. I'll do 10 minutes today. I'll do an hour tomorrow. I'll do three hours the next day. You know, you really have to work out a schedule for your hours and how much time you can put into the day. And the DMO will help you do that because you'll be able to see where you're failing and where your strong points are to then be able to see, okay, well, it took me an hour to do those five things and now I can do these next two things within the next half an hour or whatever, you know, so they're just an example. But, you know, that that's what gives you a really good set plan for the day and you can see where where your hours and your time is going in between whatever else you do if you've got kids at home and that sort of stuff. So this is really good for home-based business people in my opinion Obviously, because we do have kids at home and we do get quite distracted, but because it's our own business, we then seem to not take it as seriously. And then, you know, that's when we start to lack and, and our productive ways go, um, sort of drop off and and then things get behind. And then all of a sudden you think, well, where's that week gone? I haven't even done this or I haven't done that. And, you know, you, your to-do list becomes a whole sheet rather than four things on the list. So... So for me, this is amazing. And I hope you guys give me a thumbs up if you think this would be something that you'd want to use as well. And it could even be for, you know, planning out your day around, like I said, exercise and cooking. And if you're someone who likes to do different um, nutrition type things within the day, or if you're someone who likes to read books and meditate, you can have that in your DMO, you know, and have it there as a, um, you know, the start of the day, you might meditate at the end of the day, you might say, I'm going to read 10 pages of a book and then, you know, plan out the rest of the day in between that. And when your kids sleep and when you're, um, when you've got time to yourself and all that sort of stuff, you can really put that into practice and you know what your steps are meant to be for what time of the day. So mine is actually, I've actually put mine down as exact times as well as the task. So I'm pushing myself to, you know, to make myself do exact certain things every single day at, at an exact time if I'm home. So I think this is really good and it will pick up my production. Uh, it can be something that I can also, if I keep doing these live videos, I can then keep, you know, I can put these live videos into my schedule as well. And then as I, as I said the other day, I can put them up to, onto my blog and onto my website and YouTube and all that sort of stuff within a certain time of the day instead of fluffing about, you know, doing bits and pieces here and there. And then I think, well, where did that time go? You know, so daily method of operation, I really think it is amazing. And I think it's going to help a lot of people in their business. So I thank you all for listening in. And day nine, I will talk to you very soon, but it'll be very social because we are coming up to the weekend. So see you all tomorrow.